What's going on guys? It's been a super long time since I've sat down and talked to you guys. At least that's what I feel like. I've been kind of going through a video rut so i would love to get your guys's video suggestions leave it down below in the comments and let me know what you guys want to see from me because i feel like all my vlogs are boring two weekends ago we celebrated esther's birthday today is esther's birthday our dear esther we're hosting her little birthday gathering here at my apartment to prepare for that i ordered some goodies to try to decorate Let's see i have here little fairy lights don't know where I'm gonna hang it, but we're just creating a vibe over here. I also got from Amazon this box of candles. Again, I don't know where I'm gonna put all these candles, but we're just going for the vibe. There's a lot to be done. I just set up some of the lights. I didn't know where to put them, so I decided to just spell out happy birthday. Wow. We had a really nice dinner with just the girls before everybody came over, but it was definitely a fun and slightly crazy time. to light Esther's cake. Michelle and Esther got into a cake fight and Esther ended up washing basically her whole head. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. How does it feel? It feels great. It tastes quite good. <laughs> and then at some point during the weeks, and then at some point during the weeks, Esther came over again. Esther's like the star of my vlogs lately. Uh, but we recorded two episodes of her on the floor podcast. I've read a number of books through the years at the library next to my home. And some I held close to my chest so dear, but they were always on board. But if the pages make me smile like a fool Maybe for once I won't follow the rules Guess who we arrived again? When I find my favorite book Okay, okay Oh, y'all saw that? Mic check. One, two, one, two. Check. One, two, three. <laughs> we just wrapped up um, a random episode of Esther's podcast. It was just answering a lot of Q&A questions and they were all over the place. Yeah. I'm sorry, but. but... But by the time you guys see this, it will be live. Um, so definitely go check out On The Floor Podcast. I will link everything down below. And we are about to record yet another one. Another one. We're line. just cranking out the content and we're gonna be talking about career in this one. Heck yeah. A lot of people <sighs> are curious about your Dr. Jart. I know. Experience. I think they all want to work at Dr. Jart. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm on the floor with Miss Frisia Paco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about this new brand that I'm checking out. They sent me some products it's called By Humankind and I am not getting sponsored for this. I don't even have a commission link, but I want to share the knowledge because they're a sustainable brand. I'm low-key kind of a tree herder. I'm like I'm not the most sustainable person out there and I 
just do my best to eliminate my own waste. This brand really does help with that and I, I thought it was really neat, so I just wanted to share it. This right here is peppermint flavored mouthwash tablets. Rip this open. This is what comes inside. Ooh, so cool. It comes with a beaker and it tells you where to put the water up to. This separate thing houses all of those tablets. I found a broken tablet that I'm just gonna put in here and then I'm gonna add water. It's just very natural and like baking soda like has zero alcohol so if you hate the alcohol sting then this might be for you. I definitely think this is really cool though. Also just wanted to talk to you guys about something exciting that I'm doing. I am getting new laser hair removal treatments. I have gotten laser hair removal about five to six years ago on my underarm. Fast forward to now, I was like, okay, I'm kind of really interested in getting my full Brazilian done. So their Brazilian treatment is just under $500 um, for six sessions, which is crazy cheap in New York City. If you look anywhere for pricing, they are double that price for six sessions. I think Baird Monkey, I keep going back to them because A, their office and facility is super clean. B, they kind of just like get shit done and everything's just a fast and easy process and they're the cheapest and the most affordable laser hair removal clinic I've found in the city. Um, so I'm just going back to them because obviously I've tried them and they're the most affordable. I believe they also have some Groupon deals so you guys should check out Groupon if you're in the New York City area, but they are located in K-Town. I'm at Baird Monkey right now, about to get several laser treatments. I'm getting my upper lip done. It's a little hard to tell on camera, but I have a bit of peach fuzz and I don't mind it, but it's dark. All my hairs are really dark. So I'm going to get that lasered off as well as my full Brazilian. We're also touching up my underarms because it's been a really long time since I've gotten laser treatment under there. Okay. The goggles on. Hella cool. <laughs> I just shaved my upper lip. So the hairs are gone. We're about to laser it off. This laser it has very strong melanin absorption. So it works great on people who have dark hair and light skin. Okay. So right now we're gonna use the Alessandro laser for you. This laser is not painful, but you're still gonna feel a little stain during the session. Okay. Yeah. So if you feel any discomfort, just let me know. Okay. How you feel? That just felt cold. Light. Yes, like the <laughs> water, right? Uh huh. Okay. Now we can. Now you close up your lip a little bit. So fast. It felt cold and hot at the same time. Interesting. So this is the uh, Alma Soprano eyes. What I didn't get to record was obviously my Brazilian. Thinking back on it, I totally should have just like left the camera rolling so at least you could hear the audio because I was legit laughing 
in pain like it was <laughs> i kid you not it hurts so freaking bad but that's also coming from someone who's never waxed down there ever i'm sure that if you have experience waxing it won't be as bad because you're probably used to the pain but for someone who's never ever waxed and only shaved down there i was like oh my freaking god this hurts like hell i was literally on the bed grabbing onto my arms and my sweater just like praying to god because every snap was just so so painful like i felt it jolting into the follicle and i was like sweating my palms were sweating beauty is pain girl six sessions for the upper lip i believe was 83 dollars which is again so freaking affordable it is a long process for the upper lip i have to go back every four weeks and then for the brazilian i have to go back every six weeks to complete six sessions that's just gonna be a very long time so consistency and patience is key with seeing results but because i've already been to beard monkey i can truly truly say that i literally don't grow hair in the areas that i've gotten treatment on also i generally do start seeing results after about the third session after the first and second session you still keep growing hair but after the third session something kind of just exponentially happens and your hair stops growing your hairs kind of just start falling out of its follicles like you could literally pull on a hair and it'll just like come out without any force and it's kind of weird so i'm looking forward to that especially for my brazilian because the hairs down there are super coarse so i will keep you guys updated with my whole laser journey over the months that are to come but yeah that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will see you guys in the next one you're long overdue Oh, I'm fine